Hi there, this is a quick tip for how to create game objects. So let's say you need to create a game object through code that you need to do something like play a sound. You can simply do new game object and use it just like this. However, if you do it like this, the game object will have a default name which will make it very difficult to find in your hierarchy. So here, as you can see, I have 10 game objects and they all have the exact same name. So if I was trying to debug some error in my code, it would be very difficult to find the game object that I'm looking for. So whenever you do create a new game object, always look at the second constructor, which allows you to put a name. And just like that, each game object now has a unique name and we can easily find it in our scene. Something else you might want to do is create a game object with various components. So again, you could do it the normal way, game object, and then do game object that add component and add whatever you need. And again, this works perfectly fine, but if we see on our game object, you can see that we have a third constructor, which allows us to specify the components that we want that game object to have. So in here, we can simply do and give it the type of sprite render and a type of unit and just like that, our game object will be instantiated with these two components. So there it is, all of our game objects now have the sprite render and the unit component. And that's it, hope you found this tip useful. Alright, see you next time.